Is it finally your year? Is this year really going to be your year? You said that last year. Is this the one? Greetings, everybody. I am Raven M. Harris. And one of the things that I feel like is every year we start the year off with is finally going to be my year. We reflect on last year. It's like what went wrong, what went right, and what can I do better to make sure it's like I'm coming for everything, right? You got a mantra, you got your word for the year, you got your new journal, your new planner. Everybody got something that they're like, okay, this is my focus this year. But is it really? Are you really locked in? That's what I asked myself today. Are you really locked in? Get real, get real with you. Okay. I want you all to think about, and this is something I've been thinking about, blocking out everything that doesn't have anything to do with what you are purposed to do and what you say that you're going to accomplish this year. Deaf to the noise and everything that has nothing to do with what you're supposed to do this year is noise. Yeah, distractions are everywhere. It's like you have notifications popping up. Even while I was recording this, because I didn't turn off my notifications, something just popped up a second ago. And it's like, okay, focus, focus, focus. Text messages, social media, just stuff is like everywhere to try to steal. And that's, that's right, because what it is, it's stealing from us. It's stealing our time, our energy, our emotional health, steal our attention. I want you to think about what would your, not even, we're not even going to go for your life. What would your year be like if you eliminated the distractions? Time to yourself, for yourself. One of the things that I am going to be very intentional about this year is me time. Me time. Solo time, even taking solo trips to make sure that I am in sync with me. I am not persuaded, guided, distracted by what somebody else is doing, what somebody else said, um, social media, family, friends, um, made up competition, looking to the left or the right, seeing other people accomplish their goals, tunnel vision. Repeat after me, tunnel vision. I've said it before, um, and I, I definitely am proud of myself for growth, but there's so much more, so much more growth that's needed. One of the reasons, like even with this, this channel and with the podcast that it hasn't come out is because I was distracted by what somebody else said. Somebody else said, you should do it like this. You should do it like that. So I allowed other people to steal my own creativity and then lean into my own ideas. What's that for you? Do you want to write a book? Do you want to start a podcast? You got a YouTube channel, TikTok, all that kind of stuff that's in your, in your juices, something that you want to get flowing? You want to release an album? You want a new job? You want to quit your job? What is that for you? What, is, what, what do you need to get in sync with you on this year? Do you need to rededicate time to your own mental health, your physical health? What could your year be like? And we know even your life be like if you blocked out the distractions. Just six months. How about that? Just six months of blocking out all of the noise. 
And perhaps, and one of the things I realized, and I'm going to take one, I just got to schedule it. You need a detox. My daddy always say better out than in. Maybe you need a detox. Maybe you need to detox some social media accounts. Maybe you need to detox some people, some foods, some drinks, some beverages, some places. One of the videos I just talked about recently is what can't go with you in, into 2024. Maybe there's some things we have to leave in 2023 to make sure that 2024 we do get more. More blessings, more abundance, more overflow, more money, more peace, more joy. Maybe you need a retreat to just pause. It doesn't have to be expensive. You don't even have to leave your house. How about that? Today, I retreated to a closet and closed the door. How about that? <laughs> closed the door so I could sit with my thoughts and not be distracted by TV, phone calls, and everybody else with their stuff. Six months, what would your life be like if you gave yourself six months of blocking out all of the distractions? Like minding your business, full-time employment. What would 2024 be like if you went beast mode for you? So many times we're, we're going hard for everybody else. Beast mode for you. What could you accomplish? That's what I'm going to leave you with. It's a question. What could you accomplish? Who could you become if for the next six months you were so focused and you were deaf to the noise? All right, y'all. I will talk to you soon. Take care.